Aloha and welcome to Cooking with Dino Mama. Today I am making a delicious Moroccan chicken. This episode is not sponsored by anyone, and anything I use or that you see is what is available in my home or local grocery. Let's start by preheating the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Chop up one to two large yellow onions into big chunks and set aside. I'm using thin sliced breast fillets because that's what I have. But you can use chicken with the skin still on, chicken with bones, or whatever sort of chicken you have. In fact, you can even use turkey and can probably try this with tofu. Whatever sort of protein you choose, start by defrosting it. Then pat it dry with paper towels and setting that aside. In a small bowl, mix together all the spices, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of sweet paprika, two teaspoons cumin, half a teaspoon ground ginger, half a teaspoon whole coriander seeds, half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon ground nutmeg, ground black pepper to taste, I like more than less, any other spices you want to add, and the zest of one lemon. Try not to drop your lemon in your spices. Definitely not what I meant to do. Mix all your spices together and fully coat your protein of choice with the spice mix, getting all the crevices, the nooks and crannies, so to speak, so it really absorbs all that flavor. Set a large Dutch oven over medium high heat and let it warm up for about two minutes. Add two tablespoons of olive oil in your large Dutch oven and let it heat up for about five minutes. Or a little trick I do is freeze oil with herbs. So I'm using olive oil cubes with parsley in them and we'll let those melt in the pan. If you don't have a Dutch oven, you can use a large pot or a pan so long as it has a cover and can go in the oven. If you have any extra spices, now is the time to add it to your protein, just to use it up. Add the chicken in batches if necessary, and brown with the skin side down about five minutes. Don't worry about it being cooked. It's about to go in the oven for 45 minutes. Set the chicken aside on a plate and repeat until all the chicken or protein has been browned. Pour one cup of vegetable or chicken stock into the Dutch oven and scrape the bottom to deglaze and make sure nothing is sticking. Cover with your chopped onions and scatter the olives if using on top. I used mixed olives and not too many because not everyone in my home likes them, but I found out later I should have added more because cooked with the rest of this recipe, my dinosaurs were left desiring more olives. Also, Add half of your fresh parsley now if using. Before the recent discovery of plesiosaur fossils in Texas, the only fossils from the Jurassic period that had been collected and described in Texas were from marine invertebrates such as ammonites and snails. The new fossil finds serve as solid proof of Jurassic bones in the area. The Jurassic was an iconic prehistoric era when giant dinosaurs walked the earth. The only reason we humans know about them and other Jurassic life is because of the fossils they left behind. And now, back to the descendants, <clears throat> our chicken. Bring the whole thing to a simmer and mix occasionally before putting the lid onto the Dutch oven and sticking it in your preheated oven for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, Take the Dutch oven out of the oven and remove the lid. Mix it a little for even cooking and put it back in the oven and bake for another 10 to 15 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also do the cut the chicken open method and see if it's white inside. If using fresh parsley, chop up the remaining leaves and sprinkle it over the chicken. Serve with rice or couscous. This is a pretty simple, warm colored, cold night dish. Thank you for joining me today in Dino Mama's Kitchen. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
Enjoy, and remember, only nice people get sweets. <laughs>